Are you always teased for skipping on those horror movie nights? Do you feel sadness, anger, or pain of those around you as if they are yours? Perhaps someone's lack of sensitivity made you angry or you feel the need, a strong need, to protect and care for the innocent. If you're nodding your head right now, you might be an HSP. Hi, I'm Dana and I help you transform the trauma from your toxic relationships, emotional and mental health struggles, and those dysfunctional family dynamics into a growth catalyst that will help you on the path of healing, happiness, and abundance. Signs that you are a highly sensitive person with hidden trauma. A highly sensitive person, or HSP, is someone with a sensory processing sensitivity that affects 15 to 20 percent of the population. Dr. Elaine Aaron explains this as does. D for depth of processing, O for all overly stimulated, E for emotional responsiveness, and S for subtleties, sensories, or stimuli. Someone with HSP has a deep internal dialogue and seeks meaning by processing the world around him or her. They are aware and empathic of others' feelings, therefore getting emotionally and physically drained in public settings. Here are 13 common traits that say if you are an HSP. One, you hate conflict, often avoid them. Two, minor disagreements feel like so crushing fight. Three, you need at least one hour every day to recharge. This I am personally guilty of. Four, you are perceptive of the people, animals, and environment around you. Five, you feel anxious or shy in new settings or around new people. Six, this is kind of funny. You dislike certain clothes or textures. Seven, you react or feel strongly towards criticism. Eight, you cannot stand gossip nor small talk. Nine, art and music make you happy, very happy. Ten, you are creative in finding new solutions. Eleven, you form strong relationship bonds. And this is not only limited to romantic partnerships but even in familial or friendships 12 you have a low pain tolerance 13 you are extremely curious and sometimes you might get exasperated or frustrated because others are not as curious as you on certain things you see HSP is not a disorder. There is nothing wrong with you, nor does that make you superhuman. Like a gene, HSP trait makes things louder to you compared to other persons. You experience things, stimuli, in a much amplified environment. It's magnified. Once it hits you, 10 times magnified compared to the people around you. Because of this, you must be very careful of whom you let inside your personal space. Dysfunctional families, childhood trauma, and toxic relationships make life harder for people with HSP. Causes of unhealed trauma can be home where showing feelings is a weakness, partner or relative with narcissism, untreated mental illness, addiction, or rigid religious or traditional roots, living in poverty, abuse, gaslighting, loud neighborhoods, and frequent drama, CPTSD. I'm going to um, discuss some of this in my other episodes, so just stay tuned for that. If you want to be notified whenever I post related videos about this, please hit the like button and subscribe so smash that notification bell so you will be notified whenever i have posted uh, related videos to this licensed independent clinical social worker patrick 
tea hand there's some recovery tips for the hsp with hidden childhood trauma one work on your boundaries enhance self-care and healing two reclaim and reframe your identity this is especially true with victims of childhood trauma dysfunctional families or abusive relationships your identity gets crushed vanquished they gaslight you they shame you they guilt trip it gets so aggressive to you to a point that your identity sweep under the rug and then you don't know who you really are anymore you don't know what you want and what you stand for anymore claim and reframe your identity you can do this by journaling the things that make you different and why they are helpful three master your traits know the hypersensitivity traits that you have know how it triggers you know how it gets triggered and know how to manage or cope with it improve how you cope with relationship intimacy codependence and hypervigilance four seek professional help with a licensed mental health practitioner have a good support group please know that with patience understanding inner work and professional health there is hope for a peaceful and happy life for the hsp with past trauma i'm dana vg thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell and i'll see you on my next videos Bye for now. Stay awesome.